Good morning, moms and dads. Day 44 of the 90 day parenting challenge. Now, we've been talking a lot about letting your kids struggle and, you know, not cutting them out of the cocoon and things. And if you're a mom like I was, who's used to doing everything and being everything for your kids, and you really sincerely enjoy spoiling them like I did, uh, we want to give you the message today that the less you step in, the more they step up. Mm. So share that story, Tom. Yeah, absolutely. The task is this big. And when we first started off, we did this much because they were babies. And then as they get older, they should be able to do more. And eventually, the idea is by the time they reach 18, they should be able to do everything all on their own. That's the transition. And this story absolutely touched my heart because she knew the essence of what was the right thing to do. And so her son had a really tough time. I believe it was some kind of disorder that he had. It was the muscle control. And it would literally take him, oh gosh, I think it was like five to ten minutes just to struggle to get one arm into a sleeve. Always had to be dressed all the time. And so now here she is in a somewhat of a public setting and the child is putting on his jacket, right? Struggling, has the tongue out. You can just tell that it's just like painful to watch. And so it wasn't that the child did know, but it was one of those things that they were making a transition. So if you looked at it uh, objectively, you would think, what kind of mom is that? I mean, look at the child struggling. Why doesn't she help him? I think moms were asking her, why aren't you helping your son? Right. And as you can see, that's kind of how it's like, oh my gosh, I got to make sure my kids are all perfect. That's the whole back in the 50s, uh, competing with the Jones kind of idea. And this mom turned around to all these cynical moms that were all sitting there pointing, going, what's wrong with her? How come she's not helping? She turned around and looked at them and said, you know what? I am. I am helping him. Because she knew that goal, plan, action. He's in the action plan. He's in there, right there, doing the deal. Turning those obstacles into opportunities and struggling. And eventually, this child learned through that process that he not only took 10 minutes to get the jacket on, it got less and less and less. And yeah, putting on a jacket may seem like nothing to you or I or any other kinds of kids. But to this child's life, for the first time that he could do it on his own, within a time frame that would seem like superstar to him, two minutes from 10, that is all about creating a champion for life. That child has something that he'll be able to build on for the next task. Because once you have one taste of sweet success, it's easy to spill over into the other ones. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and I know that this made a whole lot of sense to you, especially if you're like me going, you know, crying in the bathroom when your son doesn't get to earn Friday night fun day pizza. Um, that's on us, all right? That's why we are the ones that need to change our lenses. You know, we need to start looking through a different lens and going, every time my child has a meltdown because I'm encouraging them to persist, they're growing. Mm. They're going through that struggle. They're becoming a new character. They're developing new neural pathways in their brain. All right. So if you've been told that your child has ADHD or ODD or this mental issue or that mental issue, you will also be told that they're missing neural pathways. Well, every single time your child perseveres through an obstacle, they're building a new neural pathway. Every time that you do say self-control training before dinner, you know, you sit still for 30 seconds and then you get to have your dinner you're teaching them the life skill that's required to not be labeled with any of these labels. So that's really how important this is. And so down below, moms and dads, when is a time that you either you know stepped in and now you can look back at it and go, oh, I should have let them struggle, or perhaps you're one of those moms or dads that's now allowing your child to struggle, and we'd also like to hear a story there. I allowed my child to struggle. It made me feel like this, but watching him succeed on his own was a reward in itself. Yeah. All right, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you here tomorrow. Bye for now.